Hello, I'm with Breck Morgan at the AmFab Open House, November 2009. And uh, we're talking about his work and his life. And um, tell me, um, I know you started out as the owner of Morgan Signs in yes. Norwalk. And did you enjoy that work? And uh, are you still with them? Uh, no, no. Uh, I left Morgan Sign Company to my daughter uh, to go sailing around the world. Excuse me. It was a wonderful business, and I enjoyed it all the time. Uh, about once or twice a year, I got a chance to do outdoor murals. I was trained as a fine artist, and so uh, and couldn't sell paintings. So uh, worked for a sign company for a while, and then opened my own. And uh, but the the great part of it was that I got opportunities to paint a lot of outdoor murals. So. Uh, the one on Donovan's of the Alice Wentworth and the one of Sheffield Island across the street were the first two that I did, but I did a number of them around Norwalk and Bridgeport and uh, Stamford and Fairfield, different areas. So, uh, so yeah, the, the sign business, uh, yes, is, was very good to me for many years. What, um, what inspired you to, to uh, make that trip around the world? It seems like a big project. It is. Uh, a number of things. It, first of all, it was a dream that I had since I was a kid. Uh, you know, the idea of sailing away to the South Pacific, uh, at least, you know, was something that I'd been thinking about and dreaming about forever. <clears throat> I was originally going to do it when I was 17, 18. And then I was going to do it shortly after I was married, and then the kids came along, and so it was put off again. And when my son finally graduated from college, I sat there and realized I can put all that revenue, you know, that all that money that I've been paying for college into a boat now, you know. So that's exactly what I did. And two years later, I uh, had everything pulled together and said goodbye and started off sailing around the world. Um, how long did the trip take? Four and a half years. It was, the original plan was about three and a half, three, three and a half, but uh, uh, almost a year and a half got added on for a couple long stories, but I got stuck for a while in Malaysia, and I got, uh, what is it, decided that I was not coming across the North Atlantic in November, which was the original plan on the way back home, so added six months by going down to the Caribbean and coming north in the spring. But, uh, yeah, so plans changed. Did you uh, determine the itinerary and, um, you know, decide where, where you were going? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, things changed along the way. You know, you make a plan and plans change. But, but the original plan came from a book uh, called World Cruising Routes by Jimmy Cornell. And he's got plan one, A, B, and C for circumnavigating the globe. Uh, one's a little shorter, one's a medium. And, you know, and I took the two and a half year plan, you know, mm -hmm. extending it out to about three and, you know, and stuff. And, and uh, pretty much followed the route that he had set out initially. My understanding is you stopped off at different locations to uh, service your boat and take a break. Yes. And um, along the way, you did uh, wonderful paintings and drawings. Yeah. The, before I left, I had a huge party, and I had, uh, what is it, a big sign-up sheet for any place that I was going in the world. I would send watercolors home, so I got, I don't know, about 25, 35 commissions, mm -hmm. you know, at my going-away party to do. <clears throat> and I uh, took a whole bunch of them and fulfilled them in uh, New Zealand while I was there. I was there for six months. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but yeah, I did uh, 15 watercolor books uh, that I filled and lots and lots of photographs. So I have enough reference to last the rest of my lifetime from that trip. That's wonderful. And after it was over, you were inspired to become a painter. Well, you I, already were. I had gone to art college, right, you know, right. art school, um, to be a painter, and that was the first great ambition mm -hmm. uh, and stuff. And as I said, when you know, I had odd jobs and painted in the evenings and at night and weekends and never sold quite enough to support myself. And so the sign company, sign business as a trade, uh, you know, had a lot of the elements that I learned about in art school. But, uh, but no, I always intended to, you know, paint. And uh, so this, it was a break that sailing around the world provided the kind of break that I thought was necessary um, in order to be able to set up a studio after I got home. <clears throat> and my responsibilities were less, you know, once the kids were gone and stuff. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it was time to change. Mm -hmm. So now you have a studio on the fourth floor of the AmFab building yes. in downtown Bridge, Bridgeport? Well, east side of Bridgeport. It's east end of Bridgeport, actually. I'm told there's a difference. Okay. And um, what kind of work are you concentrating on? Almost all marine nautical art. Uh, uh, 
I represented by the Russell Janetian Gallery uh, here in Fairfield and also the Green Gallery up in Guilford, uh, both very nice uh, uh, places. And, and in both cases, I focus a lot on the voyage, the uh, scenes that I encountered, uh, a lot of the, uh, and water, just lots of different boats and water and, and stuff and, and the different craft that I saw along the way. Um, you know, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm endlessly fascinated by painting water and sky and boats. I noticed you work in many media, um, uh, watercolor, oil, acrylic, uh, drawing. Uh, I've also done a lot of pastels. They aren't in this show, uh, but but also work in pastel. Uh, but it's primarily acrylic painting is the predominant medium that I work in. And I noticed there were two prints too, uh, yeah. recent. Yeah, yeah. Prints. that's great. I yeah. really like them too. Very Thank much. you. Thank you. That's supposed to be the start of a series for the book that's going to be written at some point. Oh, okay. But uh, so they're intended as illustrations of the, you know, the book about the voyage. Yeah. Printing is such a, you know, it takes a lot of, you have to have a press, it takes a lot of space, and it's I, a big project. Right. I work with a guy named Jim Reed at Milestone Graphics, who's a Tamron-trained master printer. And uh, he's got a little shop here in Bridgeport as well. Mm -hmm. And he and I have worked together off and on for a number of years. Uh, and, yeah, he does a magnificent job. He sets up the stones. I work on the stone. And, you know, and then he pulls as many prints as I can afford. Right. <laughs> Wasn't he uh, involved with UConn for some time? Yes, he was involved over at UConn and Stanford uh, as a director of some of their programs down there. Uh, he's been an instructor up at the Lyme Academy and uh, in Lyme, Connecticut. Yes, yes, he is. Yep. And uh, he does a uh, little bit of teaching now. Uh, he's drawn back on that, but primarily works with... Uh, private clients who come in and print with him. There are a number of different artists that uh, uh, that do quite a bit of work with him. I also noticed you uh, paid reference to a professor of yours in your show oh, today. Yeah. Tell us about him. George Chaplin, absolutely wonderful guy. He was the first guy to inspire me uh, as an art student at the age of 19. Uh, and, you know, it, it was the Black Mountain Joseph Albers School of Instruction, which was all very mystical, breaking everything down, don't work with anything other than pure form. And, you know, mass was uh, George's thing. And it became this mystical quest to try and understand what did he mean, you know? <laughs> and because we do a lot of different drawings and we tried to eliminate line and eliminate uh, what is it shape and stuff and work with pure mass and and uh, so it, it became kind of a Zen cone and then in the process uh, he saw drawing and the whole process of drawing very differently he also was a painting instructor uh, and extremely good very encouraging um, yeah he was definitely an inspiration and I've uh, gotten back in touch with him a number of years ago mm -hmm. And his work now, I think, is just stunning. I own two of his pieces, and mm -hmm. I'm very happy to. And yeah. you know, and uh, every chance I get, I'll you know, he's got his book, which is over on the table there, and try and promote his work too.